Let's get right into it. Number 7. Your gut joins the protest. You probably don't think sunlight and digestive system belong in the same sentence. But oh, they do. Turns out vitamin D also helps regulate your gut microbiome, that bustling little city of bacteria living in your intestines. Without enough sun, your vitamin D levels dip, and suddenly the balance between good bacteria and bad bacteria goes sideways. What does that mean for you? Bloating, stomach issues, and a digestive system that feels like it's one bad burrito away from total collapse. Some studies even suggest that low sunlight exposure is linked with inflammatory bowel problems. Basically, your intestines notice when you've been living like a basement goblin, and they are not happy about it. It's kind of poetic, really. You don't see the sun, but your gut bacteria are the ones having an existential meltdown. Number 6. Your heart gets moody too. It's not just your brain throwing a fit when you're starved of sunlight, your cardiovascular system joins the pity party. Sunlight helps regulate nitric oxide in your blood vessels, which affects blood pressure. Less sun means less nitric oxide activation, and voila, your heart is now overworked, pumping like it's on deadline. In fact, studies show that heart disease and high blood pressure rates climb during the darker months. Part of it is diet. Sure, winter is basically eat carbs and hibernate season. But part of it is literally the lack of UV exposure messing with your blood vessels. Some scientists even argue that regular, safe sun exposure is as important for your heart as exercise. So, next time someone tells you, don't go outside you'll get sunburned. You can tell them, actually, my arteries need this walk. Brenda, because apparently your heart also signed up for the Solar Power Club. Number 5. Your skin freaks out in reverse. Here's a plot twist. Everyone tells you to avoid the sun so you don't age like a leather handbag, but too little sun is a whole other problem. Without UV exposure, your skin cells don't produce as much vitamin D, which doesn't just affect bones, it also messes with skin repair and health. In some cases, people with chronic sun deprivation end up with drier, more irritated skin, or even worse, skin conditions flaring up. It's like your skin is yelling, hey, I actually needed a little sunlight, not a full vampire lifestyle. Sure, too much sun gives you wrinkles, but no sun at all? Your skin just sulks. In fact, dermatologists sometimes use controlled UV therapy to treat conditions like psoriasis or eczema. Yep. They literally prescribe the thing we're told to avoid, sunlight. So while you're busy moisturizing, remember your skin isn't just thirsty for lotion, it might be craving a safe little sun snack. Ironically, trying to protect yourself from looking like a raisin could turn your skin into, well, a sad pale raisin anyway. Number 4. Your immune system forgets how to adult. Imagine your immune system as a slightly overworked office worker. With sunlight, it's chugging coffee, answering emails keeping viruses in check. Without sunlight, it's basically asleep at its desk, drooling into the keyboard. That's because vitamin D, the one your body makes when UV rays hit your skin, plays a huge role in immune defense. No sun means your body stops making enough of it, and suddenly the sniffles, the flu, and whatever horror your coworker coughed into the air last week have VIP backstage passes straight into your body. There's a reason why winter is cold and flu season. Partly it's because germs like colder air, but also because people bundle up indoors and get less sun exposure. Translation, your body's bouncers are on their lunch break, and viruses just stroll in like they own the place. Some studies even show links between low vitamin D and higher chances of catching respiratory infections. So, if you're always sick during the darker months, congratulations, your immune system is basically using dial-up internet while everyone else is on fiber optic. Think of it this way. No sun equals your immune system pulling a, sorry, can't come to work today for weeks at a time. Not exactly reassuring when flu season rolls around. Number 3. Your bones start complaining. Here's the part no one tells you. Your skeleton is basically solar powered. Without sunlight, your body can't make enough vitamin D, which is the stuff that tells your intestines, hey, grab that calcium so we don't collapse like a Jenga tower. Starve your body of vitamin D long enough and you risk weaker bones, muscle weakness, and in extreme cases, rickets, which sounds like a pirate disease but is actually your body's way of saying, I literally can't hold myself up anymore. What's wild is that even in sunny countries, people get vitamin D deficiencies just by never going outside. You could live in Florida, but if you're in your air-conditioned cave all day, your skeleton might as well be living in Iceland. And no, 
Guzzling milk or popping vitamins isn't always enough. Sunlight is the key that unlocks the whole system. So yeah, miss the sun long enough and your body starts silently planning its revenge. Imagine your bones as that coworker who quietly does everything until one day they snap and quit via a dramatic all-company email. That's your skeleton without vitamin D. Number two, you forget what time even is. You know that thing called a sense of time? Turns out, it's basically powered by the Sunday. Your circadian rhythm, the body's internal clock, relies on light to figure out when to wake up, when to feel tired, and when to pretend you're actually productive. Without sunlight, your internal clock starts running like a cheap wristwatch bought off a gas station rack. Slow, glitchy, and unreliable. When you're sunlight starved, your brain doesn't get the memo that morning is happening. Melatonin, the sleepy chemical, doesn't shut off properly, so you feel groggy even when it's technically noon. Then by night, you're wide awake at 3 a.m., contemplating every embarrassing thing you've ever said since the third grade. Basically, no sun equals your sleep cycle becoming a chaotic roulette wheel. There's even research showing that people who live in caves for experiments, yes, real scientists made people play hermit for months, completely lost track of time, some thinking a week had passed when it had been two. Others thought they'd been underground for a month when it was only half that. Without daylight cues, your brain just freewheels like, eh, time isn't real anyway. So if you've ever felt like quarantine days blended together into one eternal Tuesday, congratulations, you've had a taste of what sunlight starvation does to your brain's calendar app. Number one, your brain starts hoarding sadness. Picture this, you're stuck inside for days on end, blinds closed, only the faint glow of your laptop keeping you company. At first, it feels kind of cozy, like you're in a Netflix-induced cocoon. But then your brain, deprived of its daily blast of sunshine, decides to stop producing enough serotonin, you know, that little chemical that helps you feel like life isn't a never-ending existential crisis. Without sunlight, your serotonin levels drop like a phone battery at 2%, and suddenly everything feels heavier. This is why people in dark winters often experience seasonal affective disorder, or SAD. Yes, the acronym is basically your diagnosis spelled out in all caps. It's not just you being dramatic, it's biology going, cool, no light? Guess we're depressed now. Sunlight normally enters your eyes, hits the retina, and sends signals to your brain to release happy juice. Take that away, and your brain becomes a gray, soggy sponge. And here's the kicker. Sad doesn't wait politely for January in Norway. Even just staying cooped up indoors for too long can mess with your mood. So next time you're lying in bed, curtains drawn, feeling like the world is crumbling, it might not just be your life choices, it's literally your nervous system throwing a tantrum because it misses the Sunday.